In this video, I'm going to show you how to use Share for Review in Adobe Illustrator. This is fairly new to Adobe Illustrator and Adobe Photoshop, but you have been able to use it in InDesign for a while, and I think you guys are going to love it for sending your client design proofs. So let's dive in. Hi, I'm Lainey. I'm a wedding invitation designer, and I love to teach people how to design wedding invitations and run successful stationary businesses. This proofing thing can be so complex when we're working with our clients and I have another video about how I've done this in Depsado for many years, but I think this new feature might be giving them a run for their money because it does a few things better and gives you a chance to really interact with your clients in a lot of ways. So we're here in Adobe Illustrator and I have created this file and it's ready to share with the client. So what do I do? The first thing is that I like to turn the bleeds off when I do this. The way you can do that is go to document settings. Uh, typically I have 0.125 bleeds on because that's what my printer requires. I have another video on bleeds if you're not sure what, the, what I'm talking about here. Um, but that's going to show the full design with full bleeds and I much prefer to show my proofs without bleeds. So I'm going to turn those off. And then you kind of want to make sure your artboards are in a certain order that makes sense on the proof because it's going to start at one and keep going. So oftentimes my artboard one is actually my envelope liner. So I'm just going to um, bring my invitation to artboard one and then bring my envelope liner down with the other envelopes so that it shows in a more cohesive order. Then I'm just gonna save this file. You don't necessarily even have to do that actually, which is kind of cool. Uh, but I like to save it just to make sure we're all on the same page. So you'll go up here to click share. If you're not seeing this, or if you're seeing something different up here, you might wanna update because this is a pretty recent feature with Illustrator. And you'll get this link here that's created. You can name the link here so you know which uh, document it's referring to. And whenever you get this link, you can send it to anyone. And then when they put in this link, they are going to get this awesome proof. And like I mentioned, we changed the artboard. So the invitation is first and you can see like the envelope liner is down here at the end where we put it because it's a less important piece in this particular suite. So just make sure you kind of order your artboards how you want them to show up to your client. So what is cool about this is they'll be able to see this wherever you want. And if you ever make any changes, like I'm going to change this to pink, all you have to do is click update content and then it will update on here. They might have to uh, refresh, but if they click that link again, it's going to automatically update for them. See, it's pink now. And they'll be able to leave any comments that they want. And they can do that with a pin, which is just um, leaving a comment in a certain spot. So love this pink color. Great. One thing I would advise your clients not to do is just say they love things with a comment because then you have to resolve those comments and you don't necessarily need that all the time. If they like something, they can kind of just ignore it. Um, so let's put in her name. They can sign into Adobe if they want and they get a few more features, but I don't think it's going to be necessary for most of your clients really. Another thing they can do is draw a shape. So if they don't like something uh, specifically like this on this QR code, they could say, could we change this to a circle and submit that. And so then after they have made all of their changes, they don't have to save, they don't have to do anything. They're not gonna lose their progress. Every comment is gonna be uploading live. And then when you go back in your file, you'll click window and go to your comments window. And then all of her comments are going to be there. These are the active comments. You can also filter it to see things that were previously resolved, unread by who, which reviewer it is in case there's multiple different ones, etc. So you'll see right here, she said, love this pink color. All you can do is just resolve that. And then this, you can see, oh, could we change this to a circle? And then whenever you have that ability, to change that to a circle, um, I'll have to, I'd have to make a whole new QR code to do that. Then I could click resolve here. And again, we can always go back and see the um, unresolved or see the previously resolved clients uh, comments that we did here if we want to. So then say one of her changes was to change this back to green. All we have to do is after we've made all of her changes, we will click update content and that same exact link again is going to update here and she's going to see all of our comments or we can always like comment back to her if we have different things to add there. So the best thing about this, it's going to come free with your Adobe subscription if you're already paying for it. Um, 
this is not an additional thing you have to do. I love that it automatically updates. I love that the comments are coming here into Adobe for you. I love that it works in Photoshop and Design and Illustrator now. Uh, something that I don't love about it is that it's hard to uh, write specific questions for them. So something that I need is an official sign off and I need to say, have you checked the text? Have you checked the colors? Have you checked the quantity? Like I need all these questions to specifically be answered because there's so many different pieces that some things might get lost. Um, so in that case, you might uh, want to, like you could leave a comment, like I could say, make sure spelling is good. And then they, they could respond to it, but I think that's like adding a lot of uh, new work to your plate that you don't necessarily need to do um, with some other proofing softwares. Uh, I don't love that every single artboard is included in case I do have some artboards I'm still working on. Of course, I can always delete those, but then I would have to add them back. Um, and then another thing is that I don't love that you won't keep a record of every change that has been made. So you'll keep a record of all the comments, uh, but your actual changes here in Illustrator, you'll kind of lose the old version of files. So I do like um, that I use in Depths Auto, I will have like the original proof form and then I will have the second, the third, and this is the final proof that was actually completed. And there may or may not be a ton of changes. So this may not be something that is that big of a deal for every single project, but for this particular project, um, maybe there's a lot of changes and I want to go back to a previous version of the proof or maybe I make changes and then they say, can you go back and we don't really have a record of exactly what the previous option looked like because that link is constantly updating. So just some things to think about, you might save a new file for if you make a lot of changes and just send them a new link. So then you have that old one to always reference back to. Um, there's a lot of options and workarounds for this, or this could be like for preliminary proofing and then you have a more official proof that gets officially signed off with like a timestamp and an IP address stamp and everything um, in some other system. So there's lots of different things you can do here based on you know what works best for your workflow, but I really love this option. I especially love it for the idea of doing envelope addressing. So if I have something with 200 addresses in InDesign, I love the idea that I can send it and you can comment on each page telling me exactly what needs to be changed on that page because otherwise it's kind of hard to keep track of all the different pages and specific information. So I'm really excited about this. Um, let me know what questions you have about Illustrator, share for review, etc. And please watch some of our other design videos while you're here on our channel because we have so many all about um, using Illustrator, running a successful stationary business, etc. So thanks everyone for watching. Let me know what you thought of this video in the comments.